Welcome to the GigaHub Weekly Show. Where we talk about things that are important to us, but they may not be important to you. Right. I am one third of the gaggle of hosts for this show. <laughs> I am Luis Delatore. <laughs> I'm Adam Crenn. And I'm Daikaiji Tony. He's got, yeah. got his Team Kong shirt on. I mm, look at that. USA. Yeah, I got my own. USA. That's such a strange. <laughs> USA. All right. All right. Um, um, before we go any further, right. let's talk about our wonderful sponsor, Cosmic Comics, right. the sparkling jewel of the Mojave Desert. Yes. Mm, I remember now where we're at. Definitely. <laughs> uh, come on right. down. We have a multitude of wonderful things for right. you to buy for yourself or a loved one. Right. Mm -hmm. um, even if you're so inclined, you can buy it for a loved one who doesn't like comic book stuff and then just keep it. <laughs> right, right. They can uh, re-gift it back to you. They can re-gift it back to you. Um, right here, look, let's, let's look at this first thing right here. Kamandi. This, this wonderful artist edition, Jack Kirby artist edition. If you don't know what an artist edition is, it is a high-resolution reprint of this comic book. Of the original artist pages and the original size that they were worked on. That's so gorgeous. They're beautiful inside. I'd show I might, you inside, but it is what? I might just buy that. We're not going to have that available. I might just buy it. <laughs> <laughs> and then that we also have sold. Local Talent, Ooh. both uh, Weird Western Tales and Cape Haven by local artists, James Stone and Greg Boucher. Uh, my buddy James Stone. Right. My buddy Big James Stone. Right. What you got? Yeah. What you uh, got, Tony? Uh, yeah, Tony, what you got? Well, in topic graphic of novels. Yeah, well, yeah. In graphic novels, in topic of today's episode, we got Kong of Skull Island, yes. which presumably takes place before the movie mm -hmm. by the looks of Skull Island, where the mountain is an actual skull, <laughs> I, I assume. It's not Truman Island yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And yeah, it's from Boom Studios. Looks, nice. I haven't read this yet. Um, looks pretty cool. Yeah. Might get it. I thought you did get that one. Uh, I got the the one that ties in with Godzilla vs Kong. The uh, I just thought. Oh, of, that's the. I just thought one. of right, something. Right. If let's say that that this whole like King Kong thing happened in the real world, right? Right. Or the Godzilla vs Kong. I feel like. When he's in his Truman Show Island Dome thing, <laughs> right. that there would be sponsorships. Like if he wanted a banana from a banana tree, there's a big Chiquita banana Chiquita, sticker yeah. on <laughs> right, the tree. Right. Um, <laughs> let me ask you a question: Do you hate your kids? <laughs> <laughs> if you do, you can put one of these in their room. All right. Yeah, that is a what is, what is That's it. That's it. Yeah. That is Pennywise. Pennywise. Pennywise, the dancing clown, Jack in the Box. Um, it doesn't work, but it sure does send a message. It sure is frightening to put look it, at. Put it on the dresser, staring right at him, maybe is, on a shelf. That is horrifying. That is horrifying. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to point that away from me. <laughs> oh, now i got to look at it. Not... <laughs> no, no, not you, Tony. Oh, there. fine. There okay. Just don't there put it on go. the edge like that, please. No, it's fine. There you go. All I right. broke it, I bought it, and I don't want to buy it. <laughs> right, right. Um, anyway, we have this, this stuff. We have a bunch of other beautiful things that you can purchase. Come on down, right. give us a visit, and Cosmic find something comics. nice for yourself or someone else. Treat yourself, you know? Yep. Back mm -hmm. issues, statues, comic books, graphic novels, posters. We got it all. T-shirts, pops, action figures, and... Pop. Col actual pop. They sell sodas and refreshment material. Yeah. 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 And Outlaw Energy. All right. And Outlaw Energy. The only <laughs> provider of Outlaw Energy, I, left, I believe. Left I don't know if I world. can make that claim, <laughs> but... Know. We have three left. Oh my th God. Ooh, come and get them. Wow, okay. they're hot. Yep. Okay. They're cold, technically. So. <laughs> <laughs> come and get them. Wow, well, they're, they're cold. cold. All right. Okay, so let's talk about Kong. Now King we, Kong. Yep. King Kong. Now, we had a, we had a Godzilla retrospective, right? right? We had a, a Godzilla versus Kong uh, movie review because right, the right. movie came out. Yeah. And now we're going to have a Kong retrospective. Yeah, it's all the all the sequels, prequels, ripoffs, <laughs> anything you can think of which, Kong which related. There are more of than I thought there were. Right? Be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, if you don't mind, I was going to get started with some of the worst ripoffs. <laughs> yeah, please, <laughs> right, please, please, please do. First. So we don't have to spend a lot of time on those. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Um, Unknown Island. Uh, it's quite literally the exact plot of King Kong without a giant gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. It's it's uh, if I remember right. correctly, it's just uh, an island girl, I right. guess, and like uh, I didn't even watch. I, I've never seen the movie. I, I think, didn't know, no idea. It existed, I think that's but. King of Kong Island, actually. Is it? I remember. The, oh, Island, that's that the, the yeah. one where uh, it's the Tarzan ripoff with, oh, with okay. a group female. Yeah, <laughs> with and, the but there's like a chimpanzee, and that's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not a big chimpanzee, just no. a regular chimpanzee. Um, for some reason, 
I guess some people consider War of the Gargantuans a Godzilla ripoff. I don't get that. I, don't, you, I don't agree with that. You mean a Kong ripoff? Um, or a Kong ripoff? Yeah. yeah. Mm. I don't agree with that one at all. Yeah. Since it's literally a sequel to Frankenstein versus the world or Conquest yes. the World. Mm. Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, Shikari, which is an Indian film, uh, which is a King Kong ripoff, more known for its soundtrack in India, believe it or not, I guess. Its soundtrack was very good and hit the top whatever in India. Yeah, the, the, the guy was the Indian John Williams. Right. <laughs> Um, uh, another one which is just bad is Queen Kong, which is uh, isn't it basically everything in reverse? It, yeah, and it's the supposed f- to be a comedy, but I guess it's just painfully unfunny. Yeah, yeah it's it's the slapstick comedy. Yeah, right. it's a British. Was it British? Um, it's British? It's a bunch of women British, kidnap yeah. a guy. Yeah, yeah, like, and the female so the Queen the Kong, fe- Queen, yeah. King Kong, Queen Kong falls yeah. in love with the. Yeah, and it's supposed to be nothing but bad. Ha ha ha! Isn't that funny? <laughs> Isn't that funny? Yeah. And then ape, I mean, our Kong of you having a uh, laugh? King of Kong Island. I already talked about. It. It's more of a Tarzan ripoff. It just has the name. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then there's ape, which is a South Korean blatant King Kong ripoff. But the only reason it's known is like both the movie poster and in the script. They say like not to be confused with King Kong. Yep. They had to say that. <laughs> right. They had to say that because right. they were sued, yeah. I believe, by the um, and then yeah, the other Gina th- De Laurentiis or yeah. yeah, yeah. And the other thing it's known for is uh, Kong again, or the gorilla apparently flips off a helicopter, like literally, did, yep. like flips the bird. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, <laughs> and it's awesome. <laughs> Smash was like ah, <laughs> right, right. ah. Um, uh, and then of course the mighty Korga, um, which is just an ultra low budget terrible Kong ripoff. And then um, a couple of the more well-knowns, I guess. Um, Congo, which is the UK King Kong. Um, it, but it wasn't as well-received as uh, the Godzilla ripoff film Gorgo, which is kind yeah. of a, which is a good mm. film in its own Gorgo right. Gorgo is, yeah. 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 Um, um, I know Conga is going to get a mo- new movie. Conga oh, really? TNT, I believe. Yeah. And SRS is going to distribute it. Oh, okay, cool. And I know, uh, I believe, was it Ditko did an old Conga? Yeah. S- Steve, Steve Ditko? Ditko? Yeah. Mm. To and he also did Gorgo. Gorgo, yeah. And then probably one of the more well-known ones, of course, is the Mighty Peking Man. Um, now, now here's the thing: you you guys uh, shared that with me. You were like, right. you gave me some examples, and you gave me right. Mighty Peking Man. Right. And I thought it was going to be like Kung Fu Giants. <laughs> like I had yeah, this idea in my movie. head. I thought because I thought, have you seen you seen Super Inframan? Yeah. Oh, I, I thought it was, it was great. Guy, I love that movie. Guy, yeah. yeah. I thought it was going to be like Super Inframan. Right. Type Ultraman kind of deal, and yeah. then it's like, no, no, it's a, it's a gorilla. Yeah, yeah, so, but yeah. it, but it, uh, it's not quite as good as Inframan. Same guy, uh, yeah, one of the Shaw brothers, mm-hmm. um, Rumi Shaw. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, there's uh, Mighty King, King, yeah, P. King Man, which apparently Quentin Tarantino had re-released to American. He audiences. re-released it under one of his uh, one of his labels. Yeah. One of his labels, which is actually uh, I saw the trailer and I read like a bunch of reviews about it online. It's actually it's actually quite it's entertaining. A, yeah, it's, it's not quite, a, it's quite good. Wow. It's an entertaining movie. Yeah. It's an entertaining <laughs> yeah, movie. That's what I mean by good. Entertaining. Right. Um, pretty vi- I saw the the ending scene where they just continually set him on fire. Right. Yep. It's right. not very nice. They were not very <laughs> nice to that. Right. It's Imagine if they shot King Kong in the original movie off the Empire State Building, and then right. they just kept dive bombing and shooting him for 20 minutes. For 20 minutes. That's yeah. kind of what it seemed like, yeah. Um, now, of course, these other two movies, I'm talking about the old one and the newer one, um, they're critically not considered King Kong ripoffs. Some people consider them King Kong ripoffs, even though they're different, and I, I actually like the old one. I don't, you know, the newer one is forgettable, but uh, that's Mighty Joe Young. Uh, Charlize Theron's in the remake. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. But uh, the original was good. I, right. have, um, I have that on DVD, the it's remake. It's quite different. He's not quite as large as... Uh, not no, he's not that. Yeah, Kong, he's yeah. he's larger than a regular gorilla, yes. but not just like a, a giant. Yeah, he's just a big old gorilla. Right, right. Is there any other ripoffs before we get into like sequels and remakes uh, that you well, guys I'll, know of? I know you named one that I had not. I heard I of. Uh, I can't find it anymore. There was a list, uh, and I saw, and I remember seeing it. Um, and I hadn't written it down, and it really it really sucks. I'll try to find it out before the end of the show. But uh, the trailer is crazy. It's a really bad right. slapstick movie. It was considered a Kong. Excuse me, it was considered a King Kong um, right. ripoff, but like the only diff- the, the only similarity it had was that it was it was a, it was an ape. Yeah. It's basically a guy in a suit, uh-huh. and the ape knew kung fu, and there oh, was like right. there was like some 
guy who was chasing after him who was like pretend he was doing a terrible John Wayne impression chasing after him. <laughs> and it was okay. really bad. The acting in it is bad. I think I remember this. Wow. As a guy in a gorilla suit doing a spin kick is what I remember. Because <laughs> oh, he's supposed to that, know Kung Fu. Is that the Mighty Korga? No. No? I mean, some of these movies were released under different titles. It's possible then that that might have been it, but yeah. I don't think so. It, it came the Mighty Korg, I remember seeing a clip where a guy does a spin kick, and it's, like, really bad. In, in a gorilla suit, right? Guy, yeah, so that, that, so that, I think it might be it. It might be yeah. the same one, yeah. Which, which took, oh, God, 13 wanna... years, about 10 to 13 years to actually finish, because yeah. they ran the... out of money at some point in the middle. Oh, I forgot one. King of the Lost World, which is an asylum ripoff of oh. Skull, Skull Island. Yeah, well, but, you know, that, that doesn't need it, to be mentioned. Asylum. <laughs> right, yeah. Uh, yeah, they're really mostly miss. I mean, yes, they make money good. They for had them, Sharknado. But, they had Sharknado to their name, and then that was like that's what took off. You know, there's a certain earnestness about Sharknado that makes it sort of charming. It's not good. Yeah, yeah. but there is a certain earnestness in their early stuff. There's a certain earnestness there because they had a lot of fairly big name actors that hadn't done things in a while, and like they really kind of gave it their all. Even though oh, they, yeah, they knew we're in a bad um, movie. Yeah, God, what's his name? But later on, it uh, Johnny came. Rico. Uh, oh, was Casper it? Van oh, that's right. Yeah, was he in one of them? Casper Van Dien. Casper Van Dien was in a Avengers ripoff. <laughs> was he? Oh my where god! He, where he played Rumpelstiltskin, I believe. Oh, that's right. There, oh. Was, a, there was an Avengers ripoff with like um, fairy tale characters. Fairy tale character, yeah. female fairy, and female yeah. fairy tale yeah, characters. Lou Ferrigno was in there too. Lou Ferrigno was in it. Yeah. Uh, it was all really right. Bad. Uh, all right. Back to Kong. What's but in, but in terms of Kong movies, um, well, before we start getting to the, the legitimate Kong ones, movies, yeah. <laughs> I know Toe tried. Um, that's right. Well, it's a lost film. Yeah. They tried. They. You talking about Half Human? No, not Half oh, Human. There was one where uh, it's it's lost because it was made before World War Two. Oh, oh yeah, I did I did hear yeah, about that one. Yeah, basically it's the same story, one. King Kong, but it takes place in feudal Japan. And right. I think there's another one where it's about a guy in a King Kong suit and uh, stage play production or something. Yeah. I don't know. Half Human you can find on. Uh, it's not really a Kong ripoff at all. It's actually mm-hmm. it's considered a lost or a banned film because of its uh, release it doho. Mm. Because of its uh, racist overtones mm-hmm. towards towards native uh, Japanese people, oh, the Ainu, yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, it is on archive.org. Um, there are mm-hmm. some fairly clean copies out there. Fairly clean. If you really want to watch right. it, is yeah. it worth? I, watching? I actually, I actually own a clean copy. Yeah. Is it worth? Ha- uh, is it worth watching though? It's okay. That seems I mean, that's the question. It's okay. It's yeah. really it's really just kind of one line or one sort of conversation where it's basically a scientist being very clinical about well when you know people inbreed such as the Ainu or something <laughs> like that. I was like, what? Ooh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, something along those lines. I don't remember the exact thing, but yeah, it's not good. It's not good. It doesn't sound good. Yeah, but uh, basically, in a, in a lot of ways, it's like Gorgo, where they capture the kid and then the father ape man kind of comes after it, that kind of thing. Anyway, mm, okay. All right, so now actual sequels and remakes and actual Kong films, of course, all began in 1933 with King King Kong, Kong. still by many considered to be the greatest action-adventure movie ever. Groundbreaking special effects, Mm -hmm. you know, influenced special effects for decades to come. Decades, decades, decades. Yeah, so the the guy who did the special effects, I believe, if I remember correctly, was the... The teacher of Ray Harryhausen. Oh, uh, Willis O'Brien. Yeah, Willis O'Brien. Willis O'Brien. Um, yeah. I, yeah, I'm not sure. I, but I do know he did another movie before that with dinosaurs. Mm. Oh, and um, because of that, they were like, yeah. he can do King Kong, and we can have King Kong by dinosaurs. And, um, I really wish I could have gotten to the mindset of people when they saw this gorilla kind of moving around by yeah. itself, like, oh, and they're just like, what? What is that? You know, like their mind is just blown. Right. I kind of want to. I want that How feeling. How did they do? How that? did they do that? Yeah. Did they get a real ape? My yeah. goodness, you know. Yeah, <laughs> That's yeah. how they talk. Yeah, because there was no frame of reference for that. Right. Unless they had seen some of those early stop motion movies. I think we we we're so. Oh yeah. We've we're taken a look. Now. Yeah, we take a look at like all the time. We just we're we're behind the curtain. We know what's going on. Yeah. So it's like, oh, I, I'm pretty sure I know how they did that. That, you know, yeah, but like back then, they didn't know that yeah. there weren't special. Yeah. I mean, there were stop motion, it, it did exist. I think the no, ver- of course, the very did. first science fiction film, what Man in the Moon, or but whatever. I mean, like people weren't aware, yeah, of yeah. like how, how it worked it, or yeah. how they did it, yeah. So mm-hmm. it was a spectacle, like, um, my goodness, did they really say they carved a face on the moon and <laughs> send a rocket to it, right? Right, um, so of course. That is a great flick. I don't own it currently. I don't know what happened to my copy. I used to have it. I want to get it again. Okay. I had it. I still have the tin. I don't know what I did with it. I probably lent it to somebody. And mm. But then again, I, I try to find it on Blu-ray now. So Yeah. Um, then, of course, right after that, the same year, um, Son of Kong, which was, yep. did not do well. 
apparently it did not do nearly as well. Fun fact, this was the uh, the beginning of like franchises. Franchising movies was yeah. Son of Kong. Yeah, and the Universal yeah. Monsters. And it did so good, but the gorilla's dead. What do we do? Well, he son had a Kong. son. An albino son. An yeah. albino son. Go. And he's so cute. Yeah. He's better than Ninja. Yeah. And oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. Um, and then Kong was pretty quiet for a while as far as um, being in anything until, I believe, King Kong versus Godzilla, right? There wasn't yep. anything between no, yeah. Son, Son of Kong and King Kong versus Godzilla, which I, I had read one sort of critical analysis where they said, this really started the, the Showa era, the feel of the Godzilla films, which, yeah, there's definitely some yeah. yeah, there's definitely some validity to that. But the great thing about that movie is, well, the biggest difference... Contrary to popular belief, and you know this, of course, right? Mm. There is no double ending. ending. No, yeah. Kong yeah. wins. Kong wins. Kong he flat wins. out wins because mm-hmm. even to the Japanese mindset, he was just a much more popular monster. Yeah. Um, Godzilla was relatively unknown. That was only his third movie, even though it was technically King Kong's third movie. Everybody knew King Kong. Yeah. It was the first time both Godzilla and Kong were in color. Right. Yeah. It's funny. That was one of the, again, here is this birth of like this sect of people who have this. Rumor of like there was a set, there was a second the Japanese was, was, King yeah, Kong, yeah, Godzilla yeah. one. There was a second ending. You know what I mean? Yeah. Actually, this is this Kong is like responsible. I believe this franchise for like a, the birth of a lot of the things that we have now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, people speculating. Yeah. You know, and people like fra- and them franchising a beloved character. Right. It's um, it's pretty crazy. I, I had no idea until I started researching for this. Now I know. Um, uh, blah, 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 where was I going with that? <laughs> Um, I know the Japanese and American version aren't that different, really. Uh, There's actually extra footage in the American version. The yes. biggest difference is the way it's edited in the dub makes the American version a little sillier. Yeah, um, and the soundtrack, mo- I think, actually, 90%, if not all, of the Korea Fukube tracks are right. wiped in favor of stock music and some tracks from Creature from the Black Lagoon. Right, right. Um even though the yeah, it's a fun honestly it's a it's an amazingly fun movie so, it yep. doesn't take itself too seriously here's at all. here's here's what i think here's what i think i think this is, since we're going to tell people about all these versions of kong we should right. mention whether or not the if you've seen them whether right. or not they're worth watching right. so i remember watching i've seen the original god uh, king kong mm. yes which of absolutely. course just historically absolutely. yeah you just you have to watch it you have it. to watch it you yeah. have to watch it yeah uh, son of kong you could skip it and yeah. not really it's a fun movie though seeing yeah, his it son is. fight a yeah. bear but, I mean, it's forgettable. <laughs> Listen, I know that he's one of the only real monsters that ever existed. I think the ending... According to Futurama. Well, right. <laughs> I think it, the, ending, <laughs> the ending is strong, where Son of Kong sacrifices mm-hmm. himself to save the man who killed his father, I guess. Yeah. Yep. Um, or got his father killed. Yep. Um, but the movie as a whole is kind of, eh. Um, so now we're King Kong vs. Godzilla. Is it watchable? Should you catch it? Yes. 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 For sure. For yes. sure. Yes. Especially... Especially the sequel, if we're going to talk about the sequel. It is a brawl that takes place across Japan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's the great. brawl to end it all. Right, it is. And, it is. Like, and in a lot of ways, it's set up, at least in the American version, it's set up like a boxing match. You have a yeah. newscaster that talks about like both combatants. Because, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah really because the, the plot of the movie is like the ultimate satire of entertainment. Right. Like yes. you got this pharmaceutical company that wants to like put King Kong in all their commercials <laughs> right. and Japanese Coast Guard's like, uh, you're not bringing them here. Yeah. <laughs> and at the same what? time, like the report like, oh, all these other news broadcasters and programs are like reporting on Godzilla. Right. It's like, we need something new. <laughs> we need, yeah, we need something new. <laughs> the yeah. beat down in Tokyo town. That's yeah. what I call it. Yeah. And of course, after that, um, there is, I don't, I think this one was first, and I'm, I'm only going to talk about this, and you know this one, I know, Tony, um, is Godzilla versus the Sea Monster. And the reason why I'm bringing oh, yeah. this up is because that was actually the proposed Toho sequel. The script was done and everything. Mm-hmm. And then I guess Universal's like, eh, we don't want to let you do that. And then it became Godzilla vs. Sea oh, Monster. Oh, really? That's why, if you notice, Godzilla is awakened by lightning, yes. which was sort of Toho King Kong thing. <laughs> Toho King Kong's thing. Oh. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, I so, didn't put that together. So that was the actual proposed sequel. Um, yep. I had that's no a fun idea. movie that's too. Cool. It Godzilla, is a fun movie. Yeah. Yeah. Godzilla is even fond of a human girl in that movie. Right. Yeah. Like that's Kong. right. Yep. That's oh, right. Um, the, I know the original proposed idea for King Kong versus Godzilla was that Kong or a Kong would fight a monster by Frankenstein that would somehow be the same right. height as he is. Yeah, yeah. But that eventually gradually shifted into King Kong versus Godzilla. Right. 
That's right. Yeah, you're right. I forgot about that. It originally started like Frankenstein, but yeah, they changed it. Because King Kong versus Frankenstein, right? That's what it's yep. supposed to be. That's right. I forgot about that. All right. So after Godzilla vs. Sea Monster, around the same time, I think it was after, because Godzilla vs. Sea Monster is what, 65? And the next movie uh, is what, 67? So which I is think, seven. No, I think Godzilla vs. Sea Monster is 66, because 65 yeah. is uh, Astro Monster. Oh, okay. And then, of course, after that is the amazing, which has its own story, King Kong um, Escapes. Mm, yeah. yeah. Mecha Kong. Mecha Kong. Mechana Kong. Mechana Kong. Yeah. I'm sorry. Mechana Kong. Um, so that's like a great flick. <laughs> it's a fantastic movie. Yeah. I would highly recommend that the you watch it. The Real Doctor Who. The yep. Real Doctor Who. Yes, please do uh, yeah. get it on Blu-ray. I have it on Blu-ray. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah you do too. Yeah, yeah. Great, yeah. Do get it on Blu-ray. I have both movies on Blu-ray. It's I'm probably going to go home and, and watch silly. them. Yeah. But it's yeah. fun <laughs> and silly. Bless you. Wow. Yeah. Um, it's fun and silly. Uh, it's not considered a sequel to King Kong vs. Godzilla. Actually, no. King Kong is much more his shorter normal size. He's, yeah. not, he's not quite so massive. And, um, um, of course, Mechanic Kong, you yeah. got the incomparable mad scientist Doctor Who. Doctor it's an Who. adaptation of a cartoon that right. came around the same time. I was going to say Universal kind of paired, or they kind of, I don't want to say forced, but they talked Toho into combining with Rankin Bass, who did the cartoon. Yeah. And they sort of remade the cartoon into a single movie, which I actually own the animated show mm. as well. The one uh, where they sing? Mechanic Kong? No. Oh, it's, oh, I'm talking, okay. Kong they, I remember there was a Kong where they sang. It was bad. It was oh, a bad yeah. animation, bad songs. Um, but that came way later, so. Yeah. Um, um, so that, yeah, we ended yeah. up with King Kong Escapes but, and Mechanic Kong, who's by the way, awesome. We, we've talked about Doctor Who right. before <laughs> right, on right. a couple past episodes. Right. Just imagine, if you will... If the chairman from the original Japanese Iron Chef was like a vampire, that's right. that's what that's what Doctor Who and King Kong kind of looks escapes like. looks like. Yeah. Yep. And if you're and if you're kind of the person, if you're the kind of person that sort of gets off on looking to see what art actors are in and whether they're recognizable enough, just look the guy. Look up the guy who plays Doctor Who. I guarantee. Oh my God, yeah. He's in so much stuff that you didn't even realize it was him. That guy is yep. a chameleon. For example, he's the old guy in Gazel's Revenge. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he is like the equivalent of yeah. like those character actors. Yes. Where you're like, I've seen that guy in a million well, things, but not. I may or may not know his name. Or, you know what I mean? Or actually, you don't even recognize him. Like that's him. And then once you kind of look at him, you're like, oh, that is him. Yeah, exactly. And he's so good at like really changing his whole persona. It's really tough yeah. to spot him in different things. He's actually the old guy in uh, GMK. GMK Godzilla yeah. GMK. Yeah. And I, I'm pretty sure the movie Godzilla vs Kong took a lot of influence from King Kong Escapes in terms of its plot. Especially yeah, with the new one, right? Yeah, yeah especially with Kong trying to find a power source and a right. crazy scientist with funding and all that. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, the plot. Of, yeah, that's true. King Kong escapes. The plot of uh, Godzilla vs Kong is similar to King Kong's escapes. All right, so King Kong was quiet for a while. Flash and forward. And flash forward to nine the 70s. years later. Right, right. Later, when, lighter, uh, actually, later. Jeff Bridges. Years. Yeah, Jeff Bridges. Jessica Lange in her movie debut, who is absolutely, you forget how gorgeous she is. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, oh, yeah. In the, in the, uh, in the Dino De Laurentiis Italian-produced King Kong. And it's going to come out on Blu-ray. And uh, it's oh. going to come out on Blu-ray. Is it good, though? I think is it's. It I think. I think it's worth a watch. It's worth a watch. Yeah. It's. It's definitely doesn't. It definitely doesn't have the magic of. No. The original King Kong, but yeah. it, it is worth a watch. I it think is, it's worth a watch. I think they did a pretty decent job on reimagining the story, like especially with the whole oil company wanting to yeah. use him as a mascot, similar to what the pharmaceutical company right, right. from Gods vs Kong did. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh yeah, yeah, and Kong is a guy in a suit. And Kong is a guy in a suit. The incomparable Rick Baker. Yep. Um, you know, the, 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 the suit alone is actually, especially when you think of when it was made, it's pretty amazing. It looks yeah. fantastic, honestly. Yeah. Um, like, if you look back at some of the other, co- the older Kong movies, besides, like, the, the, the originals where they were stop motion, like, a lot of the suits were bad. Yeah. You okay. know, and, I mean, that's, that was a sign yeah. of the times. They, they didn't know how to make it, I guess, or I don't know. But this yeah. was definitely, like, this is a fantastic suit. Yeah. It looked really yep. good. I and, know, um, yeah, Rick Baker's whole thing was, like, trying to make a really good gorilla. That was, like, his thing. Yeah. I mean, he also did Greystoke, The Legend of Tarzan with, uh, with uh, what's his name? Raiden. Yep. Christopher Lambert. Christopher Lambert. 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 We just, we just had a silence. whole conversation about, <laughs> before the show. Can we have an episode <laughs> of just Christopher, Christopher Lambert? Lambert. Oh, I'd oh, love to. I'll yeah. bring my Highlander sword. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> what, what about, Sorry. what was I about to say? Oh, yeah. Peter Cullen does the voice of Kong. How does he? Oh, I didn't know that. Huh. Huh. Yeah. That's cool. That's really Optimus cool. Prime? Yep. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah. 
So then after that, Kong went quiet for another, what, nine years? <laughs> Uh, uh, I, I think, uh, if I remember correctly, the movie wasn't yeah. nearly as big as they hoped. It was big, mm -hmm. but it wasn't like... I mean, they were hoping to like basically be Jaws. Yeah. And, and it did not do what Jaws did. Um, so this... Which this, I get why, because Jaws, even today, is an infinitely watchable. I mean, you could still just put oh, it... Oh, yeah. I can still, still put it in and just so enjoy good. that movie. It's yep. one, it is one of top ten, one of my top ten favorite yeah. movies of all time. Yeah. And I'm not even a Spielberg fan, but I love that movie. Yeah, that movie's yeah. so good. That movie's so good, yeah. We'll do... We'll, let's do a Jaws episode. So then we yeah. get to... Then we get um, to 1986. Yes. Two years old at the time. sadly forgotten about... King Kong lives. Yes. Now this one <laughs> is bad. I guess it, it is bad. I guess it succeeded. Bat. Crazy. I guess it succeeded where the first movie failed in 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 the sense of like, so the first movie Kong dies. Right. And then they're like, well, how do we bring back Kong? We can't. So he let's bring die. in his son. <laughs> so in the in this one is like, oh. oh, but he didn't die, and he gets a blood He's transfusion from a yeah. from a female. And he has like a uh, mechanical heart. He has a mechanical heart. He has a mechanical heart. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, yeah. They solved that little problem. It's crazy. Yeah. And then like I think, I think it's Linda Hamilton too. Is yep. she the doctor Linda, yep. that works mm -hmm. on him? And mm -hmm. then like they put in the heart, and um, um. Yeah, like the the general Thunderbolt Ross kind of general wants to kill Kong, and mm, of course he does. Yeah, and like the, and the Lady Kong, the, and the Lady Kong, and then it was like a chase, and you know mm -hmm. Kong Guys, sacrificed himself. Can we have some respect? It's it's twenty twenty one. Can we say Mrs. Kong? Yeah, Mrs. Kong, please. Yeah, Lady Jeez, Kong. Lady but the fight with the military is so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it, you know, as far as this movie, I would say this one is infinitely more watchable than the nineteen seventy seven King Kong, only because it's just so crazy. It's yes. like so bad it's good, but it's not even that bad. It's just weird and cheesy and amazing. <laughs> I think this is the first time Kong eats a human being in right, the movie. Right. Mm. Because in the thirty three when he just you probably just chewed on someone, I yeah. think. But you, you don't you didn't He did eat somebody, I remember that. In in the thirty three yeah. movie? Yeah. I have to rewatch it because yeah. I I remember there's the shot where like someone's like in between his jaws and he's like shaking. He's like, Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, King Kong Escapes is just Wow. I mean, uh, King Kong lives, rather. Mm -hmm. Just crazy. And, of course, you know, he has a son, which gets yep. born in the end. And, of course, you know, that was it. Well, <laughs> that was it for that franchise. Well, there, well, there was a <laughs> that scene. That was also Dino De Laurentiis, or I think his daughter, maybe Raffaella. I don't remember. There was a, well, the last scene in the movie is King Kong's son doing King Kong-ish stuff, and his yeah. mom's looking at him. I know. Back in Borneo, right? They end up yeah. back in Borneo. I know Toho, at one point, Proposed the idea of having Goslin Kong fight again in the '90s, but that oh. that never went anywhere. Yeah, alongside with like a lot of Toho's ideas from the Heisei era. Oh, okay. Like Baggin. Mm -hmm. Then of course King Kong went quiet this time for almost 20 years. No, yep. no, you you skipped something. You skipped something. Yeah. I don't think you put it on here. I'm not sure. You skipped 1998's The Mighty Kong, which was a direct to video. Animated version. I didn't even have it. Wait, wait, wait. Was Direct to video, singing? animated version, right? Of the story of King Kong for children with music. Wow, I, I understand why I forgot that. So uh, this is the worst part, right? So so the music is done by um the music is done by the Sherman brothers, who are big time Disney music makers. Okay. Um and it has the voice of uh, Jody Benson and this is Dudley Moore in his last role. This was Dudley Moore's last role was this terrible children's animated version of Kong. Wow. Yeah. That sucks. It apparently <laughs> that stinks sucks. on ice. Yeah. It stinks out loud. Yeah, I haven't even heard and of it. it and it looks awful. The animation looks awful. Wow. So there's that. Yeah. Um Okay, I did miss something. <laughs> I just thought I should bring it up because it is now, worth talking about. I know about the same time a certain director who was making waves with his smaller independent movies wanted to do King Kong, and Universal told him to pound sand. Mm -hmm. and then kick rocks, fool. Yeah, kick rocks. And then he went on to make a little trilogy known as Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. And then after that, he had a little, the, couple of indie films. Maybe, right. maybe you've heard of them. He had, the creative, he had the creative freedom to finally make his dream movie, King Kong. His what a dream movie it was. Passion project. Okay, yeah. It was a passion project. First of all, let me just get this out there. Okay, I hate that movie. <laughs> I really do. I think it's terrible. I think this is there there's a lot like of running either. themes <laughs> in between episodes where we talk about stuff, and that's one of them. I yeah. think you've mentioned before 
how much you dislike Peter Jackson's it, King Kong. It is so bloated and and it was and, boring and self uh, indulgent. And yeah. just, <laughs> even when I was five, wow. I was like, uh, okay. It does have some good scenes. Yeah, mm. but that's the problem. <laughs> I and found it like, boring, I yeah. do like the way the V Rexes look. Yeah, not Kong though. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like I, in any bad movie, there's some things in there that are that are good, but yeah. not, as a whole, the movie just whole. is like what it takes not fi- great. Fifty minutes for them to get to Squaw Island or to encounter Kong. Like Fifty minutes, yeah. I'm like, Jesus, my God, it, it takes almost an hour, yeah, before anything happens. It's almost, what a three hour movie or almost. Yes, three hours. I didn't hate it as much yeah. as you did. I thought it was incredibly boring. It's yeah, the, there, there's it's so much. Mm. There's so much action that you literally don't care. <laughs> it's like it's like riding the same roller coaster like the tenth time. You're like, okay, here well, we that's, go. That's another the drop. thing. Mm. Like people don't realize how important it is to just let things sort of sit and breathe. If yeah. you have an action scene, let that scene sit and breathe a little bit before you through. Because then you're gonna walk out not remembering anything. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like there, if there's all action, you're not gonna remember a single thing. Yeah. So even I don't know. Maybe are, that might have that might have been it. But there are directors who handle that a lot more deftly um he is not one of them i i would argue that subtlety is not in peter jackson's vocabulary mm. nope nor nor is understated or <laughs> peter yeah, a lot of like, other words yeah and i'm pretty sure he wants to resurrect uh tolkien just so he can make more movies <laughs> <laughs> um i well apparently my understanding was christopher tolkien was not happy with peter jackson and after lord of the rings after the hobbit after lord of the rings the Ooh, hobbit apparently damn. the hobbit apparently he already my understanding i could be wrong and let us know in the comments uh, my understanding is um, he already had the rights for The Hobbit, but the only way he could add in a lot of that crap that he did was basically he had to either make it up or it had to be in the appendices, but apparently he was not happy. I know Christopher Tolkien, I believe, passed away, but he had resigned or retired from being in control of all that, I want to say, like five or six years ago. Mm. But, uh, yeah, I'm just... Anyway, King Kong. King Kong. <laughs> he just... And I know I said this during the Godzilla vs. Kong review was that, you know... Kong looked like a monster again, like a giant monster. Yeah, Whereas he walks in and Peter twos. Jackson. Yeah, and Peter Jackson's King Kong. It's just a big gorilla you could find at the zoo. I didn't so like, I didn't like that. It's Mighty Joe Young. He's it's just Mighty a Joe Young, yeah. bigger silverback. Yeah, right, right. I didn't like that. I don't like that. Okay, I know. So. I think he had the same idea a lot of people had, where it's like, well, it's a gorilla. It's just a big, it's a giant ape. But like, no, yeah. it was different. Kong was not just a gorilla. He yeah. was a giant ape, but he was... Some strange species yeah, of giant a, ape. Yeah. He was a monstrous yeah. he was a ape, monstrous not, ape, not yeah. just a big version of an ape that already existed. Right now, so. apparently that movie critically did well, but financially did not. Um, a lot of people don't realize that it did not make. Strangely a enough, money. I thought it would have been the other way around. Right, it critically did well, but not uh, not financially. Hmm. So of course that kind of nothing happened there. And then now we come to yeah. the teen, the two thousand and teens. Well, 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 is there something little, else in there? My little own point on uh, 2005 King Kong. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was sorry. F- okay, so I was five, and even then I thought it was a eh, slowish movie, and like I didn't really like it at all back then. And even because I did rewatch the movie like two days before yeah. doing this. And oh, okay. Yeah, then rewatching I'm, it, I'm I'm, sorry. the only thing I really like is the V-Rex fight. One aspect of Kong going on a rampage, I didn't really like much of the military fights. I did not like the whole... Kong and Anne having a relationship that didn't feel necessary at all. Yeah, it seemed way too much of a relationship. And I like the, yeah. and I like the <laughs> soundtrack. Really weird, That's yeah. about it. Because, yeah. and I'm looking, I'm think, thinking back, like, back when I was five, the the first few movies I saw were Godzilla against Mecha Godzilla and GMK. And at that point, I thought Giant Monsters were awesome. And watching King Kong for the first time on the big screen, and that mo- with that movie, gave me the idea for a long time that King Kong sucked. <laughs> oh, and oh, yeah, oh. it wasn't. Well, until- and I get that. At least you learned. It wasn't until I was twelve when I saw King Kong, um, thirty three on TV, and I'm like, this movie's awesome. This movie is <laughs> awesome. Rules, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Peter Jackson's King Kong. I mean, I know people that like it, mm-hmm. but yeah, it's it's big time Hollywood, like yeah. big big money big production type yeah, deal yeah, and i know people sure. love those special effects type of flicks and that's that's fine if that's what they're into but honestly i found it incredibly boring yeah yeah yeah. yeah. so yeah. so then we uh fast forward a few more years another 10 years or so until we get kong a, on skull island a good kong movie kong, it took right. this long took to get this a, long, a good yeah. kong movie Kong and Skull Island is pretty badass. I was actually, yeah. Yeah. I was ready yeah. to hate this movie. Right. Yeah, so I, was, I went actually, into it yeah. thinking there's there's no way they're right. gonna capture thirty three King Kong on this. Right. But like we, I we watched. Did we watch it? Did you and I watch it? Maybe. 
I I thought it was, it was good, though. fantastic. Yeah, Everyone good. was great in it. It was yeah. such a good and and his introduction. My God, his introduction was pretty bad. He was he we yeah. Just starts trashing the helicopters. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't have to wait forty five no. fifty minutes for him to show up in a yeah. two hour movie. He was there. What twenty minutes flat? Yeah. Twenty yep. twenty five minutes. Yeah. He was there. Mm. There was a there was a brief setup yeah. and then Kong. <laughs> yeah, <Yep. laughs> Kong. And then you got a lot of big monster fights. It was kind of a running battle. You got to see Kong sort of in his native environment. Mm -hmm. A little bittersweet because, you know, he was apparently part of a dying culture, the people and him and his race of whatever they were. Yeah. Yep. Monster gorillas. Yeah, that was all good. That was all really good. And yeah. the, the skull crawlers were awesome. The skull crawlers like, were cool. I, I like him a lot more than the V-Rexes. And um, yeah. I like a little bit more than the snake than the, from the deal of the rent of Kong. Yeah. Oh, the giant snake. Yeah. Yeah. I would love a spinoff of John C. Reilly's character and the the Japanese soldier. Well, that might that yeah, would have been cool. That would have been. Yeah, I think that would be cool. cool. That might be the case with that Netflix anime. Oh, they are doing an anime. Yeah, yeah and there's no way they could do Squall right now. <laughs> and given then the MonsterVerse, it's totally <laughs> wiped out. Yeah. To say like it's it's a giant a hurricane. Yeah. Now I know. Um um, Skull Island. I was going to say, the only I can only think of one part that just sort of annoyed me, which I know I've talked about before. Other than that, the movie's uh, good. But uh, um, it, there's that scene where he gets knocked into the old shipyard. Yeah. <laughs> and then he's suddenly, like, wrapped up in chains. Oh, because yeah, sure, some, yeah, yeah. some universal producer said, he's got to break out of chains. Yeah. He's Kong. He's got to bring out of chains. Oh. I was like, get out of here. <laughs> Oldie Mc, old producer. There's good. always an old, good, there's always an old producer like... that's like, I remember when <laughs> I was a child and he yeah. broke out of chains. He has to be in chains. Yeah, he has to. Can we put a big building in the middle of the island, either the big building or the chains? And they were like, well, chains, yeah. I guess. You know what it reminded me of? <clears throat> it reminded me of like an old 70s... Uh, like TV show where they drop a net on somebody and they're just like stuck like it's a spider web. That's really <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Ah, ah. it's just not that way, right? Yeah, it's just not like that. like Batman like sixty six yeah, time. You just yeah. throw like a net, like, he, like ah. yeah. He like falls on chains and suddenly he's wrapped it. I'm like, how did that happen? It's, it's that not doesn't even, work yeah, that it's way. It's not even a big net. It's <laughs> right. a small net right. that you can so just like throw like, off oh, and they're just like, oh, oh, oh no, oh no. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was a, but I did like how he used the chain as a weapon. Oh yeah, that part is so awesome. Starts swinging the friggin' the screw from the ship. Yeah, it probably has. Best cinema, either the first or second best cin cinematography in the MonsterVerse. I'd probably say the first because of the use of color grading. Yeah. But, like second best is Godzilla versus Kong, but like Kong Skull Island, like visually yeah. that movie's awesome. It like is all awesome, the shots, yeah. like it's not Who directed that one. It, John Vogue Roberts. He's oh, okay. gonna direct. Uh, he's directing the next one, right? He's um he's directing the Gundam movie. Oh, that's and and the Metal Gear Solid movie. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, nice. that that had the yeah. thumbs up by Kojima. Yeah. Right. Don't don't throw this one out if you haven't seen it. Oh, like, go right. out and watch it. It's really good. It's good. Yeah. It's yeah. Really Kong good, and yeah. Skull Island is good. Of course, like a cast, right? Tom Hiddleston, mm -hmm. aka Loki, yeah. Brie right? Larson, Brie Larson, Larson Sam Jackson, Jackson John Goodman, yep. um, John C. Riley. Did we say John C. Riley? <laughs> Toby yeah. Kebbell, which uh, yeah. Little known fact: Toby Kebbell not only plays a soldier, but he's also the mocap for Kong. Yep. And next to Andy Serkis, he is like the second most mocap. The second most like he's a big mocap guy. He does a lot of mocap. I if wonder, Andy Serkis isn't available. They call Toby Kebbell. Do you think <laughs> they'd go to like big Hollywood parties, right? And then they see each other and they just throw like little snipes at each other, <laughs> like you know what I mean? <laughs> they start looking at each other. Oh, like Kebbell. Like, yeah. How does second place feel, Kebble? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Circus? Yeah. How does it feel? <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> That'd be funny, though. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, Toby Kebbell, um, which, even though the movie's not very good, he I thought he was a good choice to play Doctor Doom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But tall, dark, and sort of, you know, mysterious looking. He was also in Black Mirror. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He was in Black Mirror, yeah. Mm, hey, I'm, like, way behind on Black Mirror. So. <laughs> well, that was one of the first episodes. That was the one where... They I'm got like, the, they got like the implant episode. where they can relive the memories, uh -huh. and, and he's basically having sex with his wife, but she's living a memory of when she's having sex with her, her basically uh, her lover. Toy. <laughs> yeah, her, yeah. her lava. Right, yeah. Mm. <laughs> it's like, wow, that's fucked up. Of course. <laughs> yep. Um, so anyway, yeah, after Kong and Skalana, any more to say about that other than, yeah, if you haven't seen it, see it. It's, it's awesome. Yeah, it's, it's like it's a great good. movie, yeah. One, one yeah. of the best monster movies out there as of now. And yep. then, yeah, and then Godzilla versus Kong, the newest one, which apparently we, has really had a really good draw to the theaters. We so. should we should do an episode on that movie. Yeah. Um, yeah. Did, yeah. Didn't, didn't, didn't. We did do oh, it. Yeah, come yeah. on. That was our last episode. I got confused. Our last episode. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, we, we, we should we, do an episode we, on that what, movie. Uh, what more can we say about that? I think we've already said enough yeah. on, that, on the, that episode yeah, if fights. you want to check it Crazy out. Crazy plot. Yeah. 
like cra- like really crazy, crazy dumb. No, yeah, no Doctor Who though. No, Doctor, yeah, no, unfortunately sad not. By that that would have yeah. been great. Well, the villain is kind of like Doctor Who when you think about it. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. If they would have at least put him in like the the black. The black, the, hood, like, the silver the hood, hood yeah, silver the whole thing. I would have been, been cool. that would have been great. The little Russian cap, yeah. <laughs> that would have been. <laughs> been I don't so know how they would have explained it, but it yeah. would have been great. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Um, yeah. So, uh, anything, anything else you guys want to say about Kong movies in general? I mean, Kong in general is a really cool monster when he's used properly. Just yeah. Mostly, he's not. <laughs> I, th- I think the big failing of a lot of the ripoffs and sequels is they're they're basically trying to retell the story of the thirty three Kong. Yeah. yeah. Which just yeah. at the t- th- what makes it so magical is like the time that it came out, right? Like that's that's part of it is like when it yeah. came out and like the effects of the time. Like right. it just there was something so earnest about m- that film yeah. that like anything anything after that is just like. It's a ripoff. Yeah. Anything after that is a ripoff, especially yeah. when you try basically remaking it, right? Like the way they did in the '70s. You know what I mean? Or when a lot of these ripoffs basically do the same thing. It's just a cool story because they're just dealing with these forces so beyond mm-hmm. their control. Or yep, yeah. yeah. But that's what I think. That's what made Skull Island good was that it, it was didn't retell the story of him going to New yeah. York and climbing Ugh. the Empire State but Building all did, over again. But it did have them on an island dealing with forces mm. that were way beyond their control. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And by yeah. the time Kong gets to, the, gets to New York, it becomes a story of man's greed and yeah. like how basically, oh, we which took, is fine. Which is, I mean, we, we basically took something from his natural habitat and look what happened because of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, which leads me to believe, is he the monster or are Tis we the monster? Exactly. Twas beauty that killed the beast um while looking while while researching kong ripoffs um did you stumble across rampage no uh, no so i i was uh, when i was doing research there was uh, some of the things i looked at did mention rampage as a, a kong ripoff which i wouldn't call actually, it a kong yeah, ripoff call yeah it. kind of like Mary Jo young it's like or war of the gargantuans mm. like it really yeah. doesn't fit for a while They're i considered different yeah. for a while i considered it a placeholder for when godzilla versus kong came out then when I first saw it, I enjoyed it a lot, even though I knew, like, it's a rock movie. I just got to go with it. Although I do want to see like a Dungeons co- & Dragons before Lord of the Rings came out. Yeah. <laughs> Where I, it was like, oh, this is good. And then Lord of the Rings came out, and you watch Dungeons & Dragons, you're like, this is not good. I but- would I would pay <laughs> to see a movie where Kong fights the rock. <laughs> like, if the rock was hit by, like, a hit me with the enlarging ray, and he gets all big, and he the just um, fights a guy. Ray, yeah. yeah. Although, like... I do see it like a big missed potential where because the plot of the Rampage video games is that um, it's people turning into giant monsters. I thought when I f- when I first heard yeah, the movie, that's right, it was. Oh, when yeah. I first heard the movie being announced, I'm like, oh, okay, so is the Rock gonna turn into George? Because that would be so yeah. cool. Ooh, <laughs> I I have an I, I have an idea for an episode. Yeah. Tell me if you like it. We write Kong versus the Rock. <laughs> And then we do like a live table read of Kong versus The Rock at some point. Oh, uh, uh, oh! I, I know how to I know how to beat both your scripts. Kong versus The Rock for, for uh, from the Scorpion King, Expe- specifically when he turns into a CGI monstrosity. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that's even grosser and scarier. Ooh. <laughs> Just because of the effects, yeah. That weird face he gives. Yeah, yeah. Well, the, the smirk, like. Yeah, and then they tried to turn it into a completely different franchise. I didn't quite get that. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, that was something else. Yeah, it it had like four movies, but yep, four (laughs) sequels. Anyway, we're off top. We guys, we should do an episode on the Scorpion King franchise. (laughs) So really quick, out of all the sequels, prequels, ripoffs, and whatever else, so this is what we have: Uh, more of the gargantuans, although we don't consider it a (laughs) ripoff. Definitely see it. It's a great fun movie. And a little known anecdote. Apparently, uh, that movie is it on HBO Max? Yeah, oh, Gordon nice. Gargantuas. Yeah, right oh, now. Oh, cool. Um, uh, apparently, that movie uh, Brad Pitt cites as his first love. That's what made him love mm-hmm. cinema. Believe it or not, yeah, War of the Gargantuas. Really? Yeah. yeah. It's, really? It's good. It's like one of the better and underrecognized sort of. Okay, hold on now. I'm... Toho monster movies. Like yep. it's sort of forgotten about, but it's mm-hmm. so good. Like it's yeah. so good. Wow, I, I had no idea. Yeah. Okay. More um, respect for Brad Pitt, I guess. Um, <laughs> Mighty P. Kingman, worth seeing, definitely. Mm. It is entertaining in its own right. Um, yeah. That's really it for the ripoffs. Mighty Joe Young, the original one is good. It's not really a ripoff or I, re- I, retelling. I liked the remake, yeah. but it came out when I was a kid, yeah. and I didn't know nothing. And also, it was the first time I had seen um, what's her face. Uh, oh, she's uh, so beautiful. Charlize Theron. So, <laughs> so I was like in love with her. Yeah. So that that helped. But uh, yeah, yeah, upon looking back on it, it's it's just okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, and then, of course, King Kong vs. Godzilla, amazing. F- or the original King Kong, first of all. Mm. Just, yeah. You got to see it. If for no other reason than yeah. to have a basis for who King Kong is and what he's about, right? Yeah. And then, of course, King Kong vs. Godzilla. Um, Godzilla vs. the Sea Monster. The original King Kong vs. Godzilla. Right. And Toho, then, yeah. Yeah. And then Godzilla vs. the Sea Monster, which, of course, was intended to be a King Kong sequel. Yeah, so just do the Photoshop sort of on your fun, head. It's sort of a fun movie in its own right. Yeah. Um, and then uh, King Kong escapes which yes. is a classic yeah these are all good the toho stuff is all good yep um then uh 1977 king kong eh, i mean it's not it's terrible. coming out on blu-ray yeah, you, yeah. Check it, out. it is coming out on blu-ray yeah right? um i i would say i would say yay yeah you you could watch it um yeah. i'm not i'm not saying avoid it yeah yeah that's true but if you do it's fine it's not you're not missing out on anything um, king kong lives of course which is the sequel which is just amazingly bat crap crazy <laughs> yes <laughs> So if you like having a few drinks with friends and just razzing on a movie, yeah. which is always fun, yeah, right, that's perfect right. for that. Um, I personally say skip Peter Jackson's directed King <gasps> Kong. No. Unless yeah. you want something to put yourself to sleep, get right, the extended right. cut, and right. Right. probably by the time you fall asleep, you won't even get to the part where they meet Kong. So. Right. Right. And then uh, Kong and Skull Island, I say yes. Yes, yes. go yeah. see it, definitely. Definitely see it. That's and also then, on HBO yeah. Max, correct? Yep. 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 And then yeah. Kong versus or Godzilla versus Kong, which is the newest one, which is out right now in yep. theaters, um, which apparently is doing well in theaters. It's the first movie since all this pandemic stuff started that's sure. doing well in theaters, which I have mixed feelings about. But I mean, as long as people are safe, I, mean, I guess. It, yeah. I guess it's easy when you're the only movie that's right. out right now. <laughs> right. right. Hey, Mortal Kombat. And that's really it. Well, that's not even out yet. Yeah. Yeah. Next week we're gonna yes. we're gonna review ladies Mortal and Kombat. ladies and gentlemen, prepare to. Rip your enemy's spine right out of their ass because we're gonna watch us some Mortal Kombat. Right. So that's gonna be that's coming out on the twenty third yep. on mm-hmm. HBO Max. So yep. watch it before you listen to the show because we we're not gonna we're, gonna we're not gonna be spoiler it. free. Yeah. We're, so. gonna, we're gonna spoil that. I don't know why I'm excited for it. I know it's not gonna be. I have a it I have a feeling see, it's, gonna be, it it's not gonna be good. It doesn't have to be good. It just has, it has to, to be, be entertaining. It's kind of like the Godzilla first versus Kong. It just has to be. Just has to have some good fights. <laughs> if it's as entertaining as yeah. the first one, right? The first um, one's decent. The first yeah. one's entertaining. It's not great, yeah. but it's decent. Yeah. As long as Fun. it's that one and not Annihilation. Good soundtrack. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Annihilation was very disappointing. Yeah, I <laughs> oh, will. God. I will be totally fine with it. And it looks like it's going to be a fun. <laughs> Annihilation <laughs> is the reason why Paul W. S. Anderson stuck with all the Resident Evil movies right. because, <laughs> right. like, he saw what happened uh, for ditching Mortal Kombat right. and leaving the directing chair to someone else. He's like, no, I'm going to direct all the Resident Evil sequels. <laughs> Which you know they're. They're not good movies, but they're they're fun to watch through, especially mm. if you want to have a marathon that you don't have to think too hard about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, with the layers of retcon. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, I like the. I think the first one is a really sort of decent homage to older zombie flicks. Older, oh yeah, older definitely. better zombie flicks, but it's still good. It's worth a watch. Anyway, I'm saying is if you're gonna pay so much money to bring out the Snyder cut of Justice League. <laughs> we can pay money to superimpose Christopher Lambert on whoever's playing Raiden in this movie. <laughs> so, yeah, just look up the Christopher Lambert Raiden laugh if you haven't seen Mortal Kombat. Um, it's totally worth it. But yes, Mortal Kombat on our next episode. Yep. Um, so there's that. Thanks, guys. Anything before we go? Any recommendations, plugs, mm. uh, whatever else is going on? Um... I guess Toku, Ti- Toku Titan Cast on YouTube. Nice. Yeah, nice. that's just one plug I could think of. Nice. Um, cool yeah. T-shirts on uh, T Public, of course. Slash Go um, Oh yeah, those are that is your T-shirt. That designs. is my T-shirt. Yeah. So yeah, there's a lot of um, cool obscure things on there yeah. that you should totally get. Yep, yep, yep. Right now, there's a couple cool coffee cups that I slapped together for myself. But until I see a shipping order, you know, if you order it now. <laughs> you might be able to get it, but I'm going to take them off there once because they're not my designs. I just wanted new coffee cups. Oh, crap. <laughs> hey, you shouldn't say that in public. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> that's fair. Um, <laughs> that's fair. Uh, what else? What do you got? Any recommendations? Um, let's see. I No, I've been pretty, pretty low-key the last mm. few weeks, so... Yeah. Uh, just a lot of binge watching of the stuff that I've watched already. Invincible's been very good. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I did it, see the first episode of Invincible, which is wow, very only good. the first? It gets, it's good. It gets awesome. Yeah, yeah. It's good. Only the first one, unfortunately. Um, but I will get back to it, and I... Falcon I and the Winter Soldier has been impressively good so far. I, oh, um, yeah, definitely. I have to start watching even the, Even the latest episode was just really good, where it sort of... It did something which was really cool, where it downshifted mm-hmm. a lot to kind of deal with... 
<laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, to deal with sort of the characters specifically. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it was just really good. Like, Character oh, you know development. What? Yeah, it was you really know, good. You know what? I uh, I did a review for a comic called Stray Dogs. Yeah. Um, do do read that. Yeah, it was good. Go That's go good. out and read it. It was not what I was expecting. <laughs> right. like, I saw the cover and I'm like, this is a weird cover. And I started reading it and I'm like, oh, it's like, it's a kid's comic. It's like Oliver and Company, it looks like. Right. And then it takes a very dark turn. Yes, it does. And I'm like, ooh, this is good. It's yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. do I read. Think, uh, I want to say issue three comes out either this week or next week. Right? Uh, if mm-hmm. I could recommend any comic and if we have it. I thought Ge- Geiger was really good. Geiger, I've read Geiger yet. Um, Geiger was really good. Tankers, uh, Tankers was okay. It's more fun than good. I think. <laughs> I mean, they reminded me of a bunch of people I served in, served with in the army, which is probably why I'm not in the army anymore. Because, yeah, they they were not good people. <laughs> um, that doesn't mean everybody I served with was bad. Yeah. Just they reminded me but, of some people. Right. I served. Tankers is basically robots versus dinosaurs. Yeah, and it it's is. Like. Yeah. Oh, that sounds amazing. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, Stray Dogs, uh, Stray Dogs was good. First yeah. three issues are out Geiger. already. First so. two issues are out. I believe the third oh, one okay. comes out this yeah, week first or two next issues week. Are out. Yeah. Um, of course, uh, Geiger was very good. That's only the first issue came out like two weeks ago. Hmm. Um, Godzilla, or Godzilla, Batman, uh, blah, 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 blah. Fortnite, Batman Fortnite comes out Wednesday. I mean, it's the, it's Batman. <laughs> what, is, gonna, what is that? Well, yeah. Batman's gonna fight Snake Eyes. Basically, that's gonna yeah. be like their highlight. Like, if you don't like Fortnite anyway, Batman's I'm, fighting Snake Eyes from GI yeah. Joe. Yeah, yeah. yeah if Honestly, like, I think Snake Eyes would win that one. He's a soldier. Batman's yeah. not a soldier. He's a detective. Snake Eyes. Snake Eyes is a soldier. <laughs> detective. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's all I got. All right. Cool. Well, yep. anything else before we get out of here? Uh, no. Thank you. <laughs> Yikes, man. Hello. Hello. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Did you end the uh, stream yet? Or? Not yet not okay, yet. Because I thought you accidentally brushed the button. I think I thought you accidentally brushed the button. In. Oh, no, not yet. Go ahead, Tony. What were you going to say? Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, that is really horrifying. <laughs> All right, you got anything? Let's get out of here. I will eat your dreams. Good uh, night. We all float down Ooh. here. Yeah, I have nothing else. All right, good night, everybody. Night. Good night.